Hello and welcome. My name is Michael Otherbeck, and today we will be talking about the differences between latency routing versus geoproximity routing versus geolocation routing. Of course, all of these are routing policies you can use with Route 53. First off, let's talk about latency routing. Latency is just a fancy way of saying the time delay before something happens. Online gamers might call it lag. So the way latency routing works is imagine you had a user and they are trying to get to a web server. The Route 53 DNS server would decide, based on network conditions of the past couple of weeks, which instances in which regions should serve that particular user. In this case, it would go to US East 1, which has the lowest rate latency of 50 milliseconds. Latency routing was pretty straightforward. Let's take a look now at geoproximity routing. Geoproximity routing lets Amazon route 53 route traffic to your resources based on the geographic location of your users and your resources. You can also optionally choose to route more traffic or less to a given resource by specifying a value known as a bias. A bias expands or shrinks the size of the geographic region from which traffic is routed to a resource. To use geoproximity routing, you must use Route 53 traffic flow. This is pretty cool. You can dynamically change the region, and I'm going to show it to you. First, go to Route 53, then we're going to go to Traffic Policies. We're going to create a traffic policy. I'm just going to call this one Demo. Then we're going to change it to a Geo Proximity Rule. I'm going to add in a region. Let's do North Virginia. And then our second region, uh, let's do our friends in Canada. Then, if we press this button, it shows those two areas that we've defined. So if we add a third area, let's add, say, Singapore. Then we have those three areas. Now if we adjust the bias, let's say we want to adjust Canada. Well, that's probably a little too much. Let's say maybe we want it to be a 10. You can see how adjusting the bias adds or removes parts of the area that it'll be routed to. And finally, let's talk about geolocation routing. Geolocation routing lets you choose the resources that serve your traffic based on the geographic location of your users, meaning the location that DNS queries originate from. Geolocation works by mapping IP addresses to locations. However, some IP addresses aren't mapped to geographic locations, so even if you create geolocation records that cover all seven continents, Amazon Route 53 will receive some DNS queries from locations that it can identify. That means you should create a default record that handles queries from IP addresses that aren't mapped to any location. Let's look at this. So let's say you have a user from the US and it hits a mapping that sends it over to region US East 1. Then you have another user from China and hit, hits the mapping that goes to region AP East 1. So to summarize, latency routing routes by the lowest latency, geoproximity routing routes by closeness, can apply a bias, that's that cool color coding we saw, and geolocation routing, a signed route uses the location of requesting DNS. Thanks for watching, and I hope you've enjoyed this brief presentation on the differences between latency routing, geoproximity routing, versus geolocation routing.